morning, Endeavor. We hope you're all fired up this morning for another day in space. Morning, Ken. We'll get ready to open the door and light up the stew. Roger that, and uh, this morning's music was a special message for MS-3. Yeah, Chris, uh, it looks like that we are tracking and we're getting data on the, the uh, PGSC with the little dot on the screen, and uh, it looks like it's giving us the correct information. We copy. The uh, Rendezvous and Proximity Operations Program uh, showing Endeavor uh, fairly stable position in relation to the PAM-2 satellite at a distance of about uh, 2,200 feet. He's endeavor for PAM-2. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, Chris, if, if uh, you could let us know what they think on the ground. We're, we're getting intermittent uh, tracking and not tracking and just trying to tell if that's a... Uh, uh, a normal signature. Copy. We're uh, having a look at the ground version of the data as well. We'll get back as soon as we have a conclusive answer. Okay, thanks. The lambda now appears to be uh, five degrees, um, very little coning. Copy, Dan. It sure looks like uh, the science was correct, and it's damped itself right down. Looks great. Houston for PAMS to estimate Lambda now at uh, 3 degrees or less. That's good news, Dan. Endeavor has moved out of range of the communications network as the uh, vehicle was uh, station keeping at a distance of about 2,200 feet from the PAMS2 satellite. The uh, crew reporting the satellite looked like it was in a very stable uh, position, which prompted uh, uh, spacecraft communicator Chris Hadfield's comment uh, that uh, it appears to be uh, holding its attitude and correcting its attitude. Uh, using the uh, aerodynamically stabilized uh, system rather than propellants as uh, was designed. The uh, payload community is uh, evaluating the data uh, that's being returned uh, from the instruments in the payload bay that make up the attitude measurement system. They have yet, uh, as yet determined, uh, not as yet determined whether that uh, attitude measurement system is locking onto the uh, PAMS2 satellite uh, gathering uh, targeting data on the satellite uh, or whether it uh, again is locking on to a another target either in the payload bay uh, of the or somewhere in the payload bay of the orbiter Endeavor, we have good, bright video of Stu on the ground now. Okay. Yeah, Chris, uh, you've probably seen uh, this on the ground, too, with the video you've got so far. But uh, we've been seeing uh, very little coding. Basically, it's, uh, what we've been seeing is a yaw. And uh, the lambda, the greatest lambda we have seen is probably 10 to 12 degrees. Dan, we copy and concur, and it sure looks like it's down to uh, almost nothing right now. Yeah, we can, uh, we concur, and uh, we've been kind of holding close. Um, Kurt's been flying pretty close to the V-bar to, to confirm that. And uh, it's really hard to give you any, uh, any indication about any role that we see, but uh, you can probably pick that up um, from the recorded video or what, what you see coming down.
Space Station Mir, this is Shuttle Endeavour. Hello, Yuri, Yuri, and Shannon. We wish you continued success during your mission on Mir. Congratulations to Yuri and Yuri on a successful EVA. Everything is fine on the shuttle. Uh, how's it going on Mir? Thank you very much, Endeavour. Thank you very much, Endeavour, for your good wishes. How are you doing? How are you feeling? So far, we haven't seen you. We haven't been able to see shuttle flying by. Uh, too bad. We have a request to you. We'd like you to pass on our best wishes to SDS-76 crew members upon your return. <laughs> and Shannon also would like to find out further status on the Atlantis that's supposed to dock with us in August and uh, how John Blaha is doing as well. <laughs> okay, we will pass on uh, greetings to the 76 crew. And uh, as far as I know, Atlantis is uh, on track, Shannon. They're going to come and get you in August. Shannon, any other word you'd like me to uh, take back with us uh, the next couple of days? Take back down to Mike or the family or anything? Well, you can tell everybody that I'm getting along just real fine. And also, you can pass along, uh, you know, to all the, the people in our office that this is really a great deal. And I'm really having a good time. And... Uh, you know, uh, they all ought to sign up for the program if they get a chance. Спасибо большое за пожелание. Мы вам тоже желаем счастливого полета и благополучного окончания и хорошей посадки. Thank you very Thank you very much for your good luck wishes. We also wish you good luck and a very successful flight uh, as well as soft landing. Thank you. 
Bravo, thank you very much. Yeah, it was really good talking to you, John. It's funny, I thought, you know, I had thought that maybe at some point we would fly together, but I never thought we'd be in space uh, at the same time, but in different vehicles. But this is pretty neat. I know, this is amazing. Well, it's good talking to you, Shannon. We'll let you get back to work. Uh, we need to uh, get our, uh, our KU that is now being used for COM. We need to get that back into our radar mode to track our satellite. So I'll, uh, I'll say again goodbye, and uh, thanks very much. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much to MCC Houston and MCC uh, Moscow for coordinating this event.